On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful uh, Saturday evening to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, in the evening we are going to talk about some rather strange happenings and how some people just give with them three pints a certain type of way. Then of course we are gonna get into the old dirty kind of boy settings. Now eleven men are considered missing at sea, some fishermen. A search and rescue operation is presently underway to find eleven fishermen who have been reported missing since Tuesday. Now on the spot news media got a video during the hurricane burial visit to Jamaica. The video is presently on your screen as you can clearly see fishermen out there in all their glory having what is seemingly a jolly good time on the high tides of hurricane burial. Now it is said but unconfirmed by on the spot news media that these men presently on your screen is among the fisher folk missing. Reports from the JDF Coast Guards are reporting that the fishermen left the Kobe area in St. Andrew and traveled to the Moran Cays in a three canoe type vessel on Saturday, June 29th. It was expected for them to return on Tuesday. It is said that when the vessel and the fishermen failed to arrive and efforts to reach them proved futile, the JDF was contacted on Thursday and began a search and rescue operation. The JDF is also stating that anyone with any information regarding the whereabouts of these vessels are being asked to contact the Maritime Air and Operations Center at 876-926-8121. So, boy, may I tell you, if these fishermen are among the ones missing, may the good Lord help on us all. Now on Thursday, just a day after Hurricane Beryl's passing, Another crazy thing took place over there in the Sugarman Beach area of Helsha, St. Catherine, where it is said that a 10-year-old girl and a 20-year-old male lost their lives whilst in the water. Now, it is said that a family of five traveled to Sugarman Beach to enjoy a day at the beach. Can you imagine my peeps? Sometimes I really have to wonder you know, my peeps. If these grown adults. If them a function. Them a fire off of all of them cylinders are. Them a clean clothes mad people. Or as somebody set them so. Now you go to the beach a day after. A category 4 hurricane has passed. You know, most expect say, the tides are gonna still high, seas are gonna still rough because an extension of the hurricane winds still they out the same way, so it still a ruffle the feathers of the water, so to speak. Now, it is said that the 10 year old child was in the water. Poor little pit never know, say. The guardians, the adults, literally carry her to her death. She out there in the water have a jolly good time. Has any child not knowing the dangers of what lurks in the waters would have been doing? 
she encountered some difficulties and the 20-year-old man identified as Baron Lee or he's known as Chris in the streets jumped in the water to save the 10-year-old child identified as Nisha Hines. So him jump in the water for save her and him end up lose him three points too. Now I'm going to show a small clipping of the operation where he was fished from the water. But sad to say the body of the 10-year-old child has not been found by the police or the coast guards as yet. It is just really mind-boggling. Just to even think why they would take the child to a day at the beach just after the passing of a category 4 hurricane but definitely feel so them people are yeah, some clean clothes mad people but i hope that the ones who are alive some may say i'm insensitive for saying this but i hope that it haunts you i hope every time you close your eyes you see your face crying for help why did you take that child, that innocent child, and lead her to her untimely passing? Poor I may I tell you no. So my own fool, you know. Now on your screen is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol that was seized along the Portobello main road in Mount Salem of St. James during a patrol yesterday. Three persons were arrested in connection with this magnificent find. Yeah, man. So another decent spot of work again by the squad of them. And also in the St. Andrew North Police Division, the Red Hills Police seized this M16 rifle along with a magazine containing 13 5.56 cartridges. It was seized along Lower Happy Grove Road in the Kingston 19 era of St. Andrew on Friday, July 5th. Now reports from the Red Hills Police are that sometime around 1.30 p.m. A team of officers carried out a targeted operation where a dwelling was searched and the firearm and ammunition were found. A man was arrested and taken into custody. His identity is being withheld pending further investigation. So another decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Now we have two wanted criminal elements who have been listed Wanted by the Falmouth CIB, this criminal element here presently on your screen identified as Rio Rochester. Now this criminal element here is wanted for fatal knockings and clappings of a man. He also frequents the parish of Clarendon. So anyone knowing the whereabouts of this criminal element, please alert the Trelawney police. The next criminal element presently on your screen identified as Quevan Anderson, otherwise known as Que or Quefa. He's wanted for a wounding with intent. He frequents the Falmouth community in Trelawney and surrounding areas and also Lilliput in St. James. So anyone knowing the whereabouts of this criminal element, please to alert the Falmouth CIB at 954-3073 or call Crime Stop at 311. Now we are going to talk about some of the knockings and clappings that are going between Thursday and Friday. Now a man end up lose film tree pints in a four parts in Clarendon, a place known as Post Road. Now, the man in question has since been identified as Leon Scott, otherwise known as Astro or Tat in the streets. A 57-year-old farmer of a post road address in Woodhall District in Clarendon. He was taken out in a hail of bullets by criminal elements at his home and he was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced, you know what. 
Another fatal knockings and clappings go on in the St. Andrews South Police Division along Spanish Town Road at 257 Spanish Town Road to be exact. A man identified as Barrington Barrett, age 50 years old. It is said that he is a mason from the said 257 Spanish Town Road address in Kingston 11. He was taken out by criminal elements in a hail of bullets at his home. He was left for dead upon the arrival of the police. They saw his body riddled with carnal wounds all over the upper body and head. Boy, may I tell him my peeps. The thing rough. And also over there in the Kingston Western Police Division along Columbus Road. This man present on your screen identified as Nicholas Smith. Said to be 31 years of age and is from a 6 Harris Street address in Kingston 13. He was taken out in a hail of bullets by armed criminal elements. Now it is said that the criminal elements that took his life are said to be his own friends. Now from here, Harry Street, you know say upon Roadstone section, a trench town that. So it seems as if the madness start back in a Roadstone car. I mean I call for them thing badness. We call that madness because a whole heap of unnecessary people I end up losing them three pints. Who and them really in a war in my peeps. Rarely, rarely them find them people eh? It is always, most of the time, the innocent will get caught up in a crossfire just because you're related to a known criminal element. Boy, may I tell you, the thing rough, but that is not the case with Nick though. Nick kind of get himself mixed up in a some whole heap of bangarang. Yeah, man. Now, the Kingston Western Police have listed 10 of them criminal there. As wanted, they are all from the general Rosestone community, but more so to the side closest to Maxfield Avenue, where I talk about Rona Bentley Lane and where I talk about Rona Browns Lane. Yeah, man. So these criminal elements that I will be listing is most definitely wanted by the Kingston Western Police. I don't have pictures to attach to the names. But I have the names, nonetheless. Now the police say that these men can assist them in several investigations into various incidents of crime, aka knockings and clappings, in the Kingston Western Police Division. Most of the men is from the Kingston 13 area. Now the list start off with this criminal element identified as Rohan Tomlinson, otherwise known as Popsy. Another criminal element identified as Samuel Grant, otherwise Carl Obi, both of a Bentley Lane address in Kingston 13. The next criminal element is identified as David Simmons, otherwise known as Troy. And the next criminal element identified as Kevin Bennett, otherwise known as Jim Brown, our chef. Both are also from a Kingston 13 address. The remaining criminal elements are only known by their aliases. A man only known as Stephen. An ex-criminal element known by his alias as Tump Them. Both of a Bentley Lane address in Kingston 13. An ex-criminal element only known as Imar of a Browns Lane address. And another criminal element known as Rado also of a Browns Lane address. An ex-criminal element identified as Cuban and another criminal element only identified as Will. And rounding out. The list of criminal elements wanted by the Kingston Western Police Division is a known criminal element identified as Tuku. Now, these men are being asked to report to the Denham Town Criminal Investigation Branch by 6 p.m. today or else Officer Yeman Pick and Team will most definitely be deployed to come seek you out wherever it may be that you're hiding. 
And just so you know, the criminal enablers and supporters and persons who hide these criminal elements, if you are caught in the company of these criminal elements, you too are liable for prosecution. And don't really too worry about the squad of them, you know. Worry about the enemies them. We are gonna get them location and come for come clap them away. As long as you did it, third settings will most definitely be your portion. Yeah man, a word to the wise. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to on the spot news media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man